Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I wanted to share with you a Happy Mail box that I got that is huge. <laughs> it's, this is going to take a little while to share and talk about everything. <laughs> so, um, I have this uh, yarny friend named Chris, and I forgot where she lives. I remembered it and then I forgot. Oh, I can't read it. I'll take my glasses off. Kansas. <laughs> I was thinking it was Arkansas, but close enough. <laughs> Arkansas, Arkansas, Kansas, same thing. <laughs> Anyways, she has purchased a ton of bags for me over the years, and um, she's always in my comments and stuff. And so um, she wanted to send me, uh, it started out as more like a few things, and then she said in her note that it just kind of grew. <laughs> and, now, and then it ended up being a ton of stuff. But uh, this is the card that she sent. So it's really pretty. It's got glitter on it and a butterfly. But she wrote a really nice little note in there. And uh, she said that it was okay for me to share it in her name. So, there we go. <laughs> Alright. I don't even know where to begin. Okay, I'll begin with the books first. Okay, first, there is like a printed off uh, Crochet World a holiday uh, magazine. It's like, the, it's like a really nice photocopied <laughs> version of a Christmas uh, pattern book. So I love that. And then there's a couple other little patterns here. Um, little yarn fran, and then there's a minion square that's been printed out. This is stuff that she um, had in her stash that she didn't think she was going to use, so she wanted to pass it on to me, which I appreciate. <laughs> and then she also sent three books. This one is called Hip to Crochet, 23 Contemporary Projects for Today's Crocheter by Judith L. Schwartz. Schwartz? So there it is. I haven't even really flipped through these. Like I... I browsed them, you know, but I haven't actually sat down and looked at them. And then this one is 101, this is like a magazine, 101 quick and easy crochet makes. Gorgeous projects and gift ideas for the whole family. Let's see, what is this? I guess that's what it's called. I can't say, it doesn't have like a company name on it. But that's that one. So it's got a ton of um, patterns in it too. Christmassy. <laughs> and the last book is Simple Stitches Crochet 25 Projects for the New Stitcher by Carol Mildrum. I think it's what it says. Mildrum. So that's cool. I'll definitely dive into these and check them out. Oh, that looked cool. Okay, I already seen. Okay, there's so much yarn. Um, it's gonna take a few minutes, <laughs> so I'll like uh, be prepared to sit there for a few minutes. I'll just start with the top. So there's this one ball of knit picks. Uh, how do you say that? Palette, palette, black. It's just called black. So it's a black yarn. It's kind of blown out. It's real thin. Let's see here. Oh, it's a number one. Um, 231 yards, and it's 100% Peruvian Highland wool. So, that's the first ball of yarn. <laughs> I'm going to open this box and chuck them back in here because I have to figure out where to put them all. It's a big box, too. Let me show you the box. Did I show you the box? The box is huge. You can't even see it all. That was the box. <laughs> okay, so that was the first ball of yarn. So, next is a Bernat Mosaic. Uh, 209 yards, 100% acrylic. Really pretty colors. It looks like it might be an older ball of yarn. Really pretty colors though. And then these is uh, two balls of Red Heart Boutique Unforgettable and the Callaway Parrot. I'm pretty sure I had some of this yarn before, a long time ago. Well, that's not a very pretty picture. There you go. <laughs> Can't see the swirl. So there's two of that. And this is a number four worsted weight, but it's it's kind of thin. It's like a roving yarn. And I don't know how many yards I see. 280 yards per ball. I don't know if they're all full balls or not because they're from her stash, but I don't even care if they're a little used or something because I'll still use them. <laughs> and then, I'm going to say and then a lot. <laughs> uh, there's two balls of Annie's Hook and Needle Kit Club yarn. It says it's a number two, 287 yards and 100% acrylic. It doesn't have a uh, color name, but there's two of these ones. They're the same um, yarn, it's just they're they're wound differently. See, there's the orange. <laughs> so there's two of those. It doesn't have color name on it. Uh, I know that Annie's kits 
or like the things come in bags. So I don't know if they would have color names or if it's on like the website. But there's two of those. <laughs> okay, I'm just there's so much. It's, it's ridiculous. Okay, there's one ball of Red Heart Boutique Sachet Metallic. It is the colorway Icy, Icy Perry, I guess. It's, uh, it says it's number six bulky, 66% acrylic, 23% polyester, and 10% metallic, and it's 30 yards. So this is that stuff that people make like scarves out of, that meshy stuff. I've never actually used this before, and I don't think they sell it much anymore, I don't know. But, um... I'm sure I'll find something to do with it, so it's real pretty too. The color is really pretty. Okay. <laughs> and then there's a ball of I Love This Yarn Cotton. Um, let's see here. Color is Monkey Red. <laughs> it is 100% cotton. It's a number four. And yeah, I think I already said it. So it's really pretty cotton yarn. Then there's a roll <laughs> of the amigurumi yarn by red heart and it is 239 yards 100 percent acrylic and it's a number one weight so it's the different colors to make these little unicorns with all in one little roll <laughs> really cute little yarn oh boy <laughs> as i showed you there's so much yarn this is not even funny okay there's a ball of pipsqueak uh burnett pipsqueak the color is Tickle Me Pink. Summer 5 Bulky. I really like Pipsqueak. It makes really cute amigurumis. Uh, approximately 120 yards. So this is Tickle Me Pink. I'm super excited about all this yarn. Oh, you should see me when I opened it. <laughs> so I was expecting like a little tiny box. Uh, another Bernat Pipsqueak. For number 5. 100% polyester. 101 yards and this one is called sitting pretty <laughs> that is really pretty these will be amigurumis so there's that one and then another pipsqueak Bernat pipsqueak 120 yards 100 percent polyester number five bulky and it's just whitey white <laughs> so it's like a really bright uh snow white color i've had a lot of this over the years i made a lot of sheep with those <laughs> All right, and then there's this little cake of yarn. Doesn't have a label, but it's really pretty. It looks really thin. Looks like it's like a number one. Really pretty yarn. I'll find something to make for that because it's beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna throw that one more gently so it doesn't get all discombobulated. <laughs> all right, there's two cakes of Woolies DK cake. They are 393 yards each, a number three, 80% acrylic, 20% wool, and it's called Bedazzled. <laughs> These are real pretty. They look like sunset colors. This makes me think of Heather, uh, at the Crochet Witch, because she likes uh, sunset-y colors. So, that's pretty. Now, wool does tend to bug me, but only heavy wool, like something that's super wooly. Usually, like this is 20% wool. It won't, doesn't really bother me. But alpaca, if there's any alpaca at all, like, I can't touch it. <laughs> but wool is more like a, um, like a skin sensitivity thing. Like, I could, it just feels scratchy. But alpaca, like, makes me break out in hives and itch. <laughs> so, I will use this. I might make something for my mom out of this, because she likes these kind of colors, too. It's really pretty. I don't think I've ever used, um, Woolies cakes. I've had some kind of Woolies. I feel like it was, like, in a ball and thicker, but I don't remember. <laughs> but there's two of those. All right. There's a bunch of cakes. <laughs> Uh, this is a Lion Brand Cupcake, 590 yards, a number three, and it's 100% acrylic, and the colorway is Balloons. Let me show you this side. <laughs> so it's prettier. <laughs> really pretty yarns. Right my my alley in my colors. I love me some pink. <laughs> so that's just a cupcake. I don't think I've ever had a Lion Brand just a cupcake. I've had, I've got the baby cakes, but I've not used them. I've had a regular Karen cake, and I've had a big cake. I don't think I had a cupcake. Speaking of big cakes, I got a big cake too. <laughs> it is a Karen Big Cakes. Uh, it's a number four, 100% acrylic, 603 yards, and the colorway is called Cherry Cake. Really pretty. Ooh, I love these cake yarns because it takes like the color picking out. <laughs> Makes it easy to just whip up something really cute. 
This is a little yarn. I can make something with this. I'm going to have a whole stack of cakes now. Because this is about the same size as the baby cakes. <laughs> you just stack it up there with it. <laughs> I love this, this yarn though. I'm so excited about this yarn. Okay. And this, I have had some sweet rolls before. I actually have one. It's behind my mugs. So you can't see it. But this is a Premier Sweet sweet Roll. It's 245 yards. Number four. Worsted weight. I believe it's 100% acrylic. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> Jesse called for me and I had to go uh, get him something. Anyways. <laughs> Colorway is called Frosty Swirl. I love these colors. That is so pretty. I love blues and greens. And this is like blue and green. <laughs> like a bluey green. Turquoise. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not good at color names. That's very pretty. <laughs> I look really pink right now. I guess it's the lighting. Okay. On to more cakes. <laughs> There's so many yarn. So much yarn. I can't believe it. I about died. And even Devin was like surprised. And Jesse was freaking out. Because he was like. Ah. <laughs> it was funny. This is a Karen cake. Just like the original cake. It is. There's a sticker. Uh, it's a number four. 383 yards. The, the, what it is, is covered up. I think the original cakes have wool in them, don't they? It's covered up with a sticker. Oh, it's 100% acrylic. <laughs> uh, it is called Zucchini Loaf. This is really pretty, too. I like these colors together. They're really pretty greens. I like that. It's squishy. <laughs> I guess one of the original Karen cakes had wool in them. Oh well. Uh, continuing on, like I told you, it's gonna. It's like there's just more and more and more. <laughs> Next is a Yarn B Rainbow Rhapsody Wild and Free. It's 918 yards. It's a number one. It's 60% cotton, 40% acrylic, and the color is called Wild and Free. <laughs> That's the color. So it's like rainbow and black. I've seen these at Hobby Lobby. They're Yarn B. Very pretty yarn. Can't wait to do that. That's beautiful. <laughs> Whatever I make with this is staying with me. Yeah, it's beautiful. And then there's two of these cakes. <sighs> so much yarn. <laughs> it is Lime Brand Ice Cream Deluxe. It is a number six, 155 yards each ball or a cake. It's 100% acrylic. The colorway is, oh gosh, Laguna? Like Laguna Beach, maybe? <laughs> I don't know if that's what that means. But it's, it's kind of like velvet yarn or the chanel yarn and it's got purple and green <laughs> and blue very pretty and there's two of them i like the ice cream yarn um uh, i don't know where it's at it's somewhere <laughs> i have some of the ice cream cotton yarn and this ice cream uh this is ice cream yarn and i have ice cream cotton but i think it's in my cart because i was wanting yeah i'm making something with it but yeah, I got two of those. Ooh, so much yarn. <laughs> All right. Uh, next. This one has a little spider clip to it. I don't know if she meant to send me the little spider. But I love it. I'm keeping it. A little spider. Like a Halloween spider. And he's on a clip. <laughs> I'm keeping him. Unless she wants it back. <laughs> but, okay. This is another one of the Yarn Bee uh, Rainbow Wrap Cities. So, it's a number one. It is 60% uh, cotton, 40% acrylic. Uh, 918 yards, and the colorway is called Obsidian Daydreams. So it's black and grays and white in the center. Really pretty. I like that a lot. Okay, another Karen cake. <laughs> um, I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna do it. Number four, 80% acrylic, 20% wool. This must have been what I was thinking about. The other one, I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> Nobody cares. Uh, 383 yards, and the colorway is called Spice Cake. Really pretty oranges, bright. I like this a lot. It's so squishy. <laughs> Spice Cake. All right. Next is another cupcake. Is this the same? Yeah, this is the same one earlier. So there's two of these, the balloons. I didn't realize that. But there's two of the balloon cupcakes. And then the two more cakes. <laughs> Mandela Sparkle. 328 yards. It's a number three. It is 94% acrylic and 6% polyester. I guess that's the 
glittery bit. And the color is Draco. It's so pretty. I actually almost bought some of these for my birthday when me and Devin went yarn shopping on my birthday. Um, I like picked this same colorway up and was looking at it, but I didn't buy it. <laughs> so I got two of them. So I'm excited about that. All right. Whew. All right. This is the last cake like one, I think. <laughs> All right. This is Lime Brand. I think it's Kepi Sparkle. One ball makes a hat. I've had some of this before. And it is, let's see here. It says it's number four, but it's thin. It's, uh, I would say it's a three. 80% um, acrylic, 20% polyester, and there is 98 yards in the, the little ball. And it's called Rose Garden. And it comes with a pom-pom. <laughs> so it's it's got regular like yarn, and then it's got this uh, like fun fur top yarn through it. And then it's got a pom-pom with it. So you can make a hat and then put a palm on top. I've had some of this. I've actually made hats out of some. Someone gifted me a whole bunch of these and there's like yellows and blues and pink ones and I made a bunch of hats and donated them. And I also gave a couple of them to the girl that I babysit so she can make hats. I used to babysit. She's a teenager now. <laughs> but um, we enjoyed making these uh, little kepi. Because the, the ones I got before were in like a little kit where it came with a hook and everything for you to just, you know, have little kits. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's really awesome. All right. We're getting there. <laughs> there's still quite a bit, though. All right, and there's also this one ball of Red Heart Super Saver, which I love. It's all over the place if you can't see it. <laughs> and this colorway is Claret. I think I have one ball of this. It is 364 yards, so it's like a burgundy color. So it's always good to have different shades of reds in every color so that you can make all kinds of amigurumis. So there's one of those. And then there's two balls of this loops and threads country loom it's 104 yards 100 percent acrylic and it's a number six bulky and it's called ocean tide so it kind of reminds me of homespun it's kind of like that i have no idea what i'm gonna make with it but i'll probably amigurumi this will make a cute like a uh, floppy bunny or teddy bear you know some of it looks old old timey looking be cute there's that. I haven't used a whole lot of loops and threads either. I think it's a Michaels brand and I don't really go to Michaels that often. That's like Karen Cakes. I don't really get them that often. The, when I went recently and got those two up there, that was like the first time I've been to Michaels in like a year because there's none really local to me. I'm a Joann's and Hobby Lobby person. <laughs> All right. And then I got some cotton yarn, some sugar and cream, uh, Lily sugar and cream. It's a number four. It's hundred percent of cotton. I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah, right there. And this one's color is psychedelic. I've had this before. I think I have some of this, actually. So it's a ball of cotton yarn. It's rainbowy. <laughs> and then, uh, again, a little sugar and cream. 100% cotton, number four. And this one's called, I think it's called American Stripes, but it's uh, kind of faded like the label you know it's like been ripped off or something so it's red and blue <laughs> in a bag super cute i love anything americana and i have this color too sugar and cream uh number four 100 of cotton and it's called pink camel so it's camel but pink <laughs> all right and then and then and then and then there are three balls of this tyh supplies uh, it is scrubby yarn like you would hold with cotton to make a scrubby thing. It kind of feels like a tool or something. And there's red, orange, and green. So it's like, it reminds me of the scrubby yarn that's at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if it's a yarn bee, but it's like, it's more plasticky feeling. So it's, it would actually be good for scrubbing, you know, dishes. So there's that in those three colors. It doesn't have any other stats on there. It's just got that on there. Um, okay. And then there's this bag of four hanks of yarn, or not hanks, cakes, <laughs> that I think it says Kramer, Kramer, I don't know how you say that, <laughs> yarns, but it's like a purple color. I think she, and, and one of them, this one here, said that it was like a mystery bag, mystery bag yarn. These ones are all held together with a rubber band, but one of them popped out when I laid it down earlier. So let me stick it back in there. But on its little note, it says... Uh, 
Kramer, is that how you say that? <laughs> Yarns from their mystery boxes. So there's two of each of these balls. It's just red. This smells like cotton. I think this is a cotton yarn. And this is kind of like that, uh, like homespun and like uh, that country yarn. There's two of that. And then there's another shade, like a different color right there. They're all just rubber band together with that note on it. <laughs> I like these. And this red is really pretty because it's like a, you know, he's got, it's like a tweed. <laughs> but that feels cottony. You know how cotton's kind of cold to the touch? <laughs> just feels different than acrylic yarn. So there's those. And I like these blues. They're pretty. Again, those are probably amigurumis. Okay. That's all the regular yarn. <laughs> now I'm going to show you a whole bunch of thread. <laughs> Let me scoot the box closer. All right, I had mentioned wanting to get some um, crochet thread to make doilies and things with. I had a whole bunch that I bought on clearance at Walmart a few years ago, but I ended up donating it to my local, not a retirement home, what is it called? Senior Citizen Building. <laughs> they do, you know, they do crafts and stuff with seniors that are go there to eat lunch and stuff. Anyways, <laughs> I donated it there because I, I decided not to try and then... I wanted to be interested in it again because someone gifted me a pattern book with Christmas ornaments that are made with thread. I already have little tiny hooks because my mom gave me a whole bunch when I first learned to crochet. So now I needed thread and she sent me a bunch of thread. <laughs> this is what she was originally going to send me and then she ended up adding everything else. <laughs> so I'm going to go through this and um, I think it's mostly, I don't know if it's all different or not. Aunt Lydia's Crochet Thread Classic 10. It's a zero because it's a, a, a lace weight. <laughs> it suggests you use a 1.5 millimeter hook. And it's 100% mercenized cotton. Do they have colors? This one's called Copper Mist. So it's like a pretty brown color. Would be a good skin tone. Because I know people make emigrimis with this little tiny thread. I don't know if I'm going to do that. But I want to make doilies. I already have a bunch saved that I want to make. And Christmas ornaments. So there's that pretty brown one. And then this one is a different, this is a Burnett Handicrafter. Uh, this is at size 5. See, I don't know the difference between 5 and 10. <laughs> um, it says 371 yards, 100% acrylic. And this one's called Evergreen. So it's a, it's like a dark, really pretty green. Be good for Christmas. <laughs> I found a Christmas tree um, doily. That would be pretty with that. <laughs> and then there's this little tiny... Like green and brown one, but it doesn't have a label. But it's pretty. Oh wait, it does have a label. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Uh, Clark's ONT Brilliant. So that's Co Clark's, like Coats and Clark's, I'm assuming, maybe. And that's the people who used to own Red Heart, but now they don't. <laughs> they also own like, they make threads and like sewing threads and stuff. So there's that little green color. <laughs> and then there's purple this is aunt lydia's classic 10 again it's called wood violet very pretty like lavender color i don't think it's a really violet violet maybe it is i don't know i don't know my purples <laughs> and then this is another brown this is aunt lydia's fashion three see i don't know the difference three five ten what are they <laughs> i'm assuming it's the size of the thread this one's called coffee and yeah it says it's a number one so so it's gauging so, the smaller the number, the thicker it is, like needles, I'm assuming. Because a 3 is way bigger than a 10. And that's how needles are gauged. <laughs> Anyways, it's a chocolate color. Coffee color? Coffee. Oh, there's so much of it. Okay, this is Aunt Lydia's Classic 10, and it's called Peacock. Very pretty peacock color. <laughs> and then, this is Aunt Lydia's Fashion 3. Plum, pretty purple, and then this one is not labeled, but it's like a nude buff color. And then this one is another Clark's Big Ball, Mercenized Boil Boil Fest. It says 250 yards, and it says 30. So. I don't know. <laughs> I can't read it. It's a pretty pink color. <laughs> and this is Aunt Leah's Fashion 3 Natural. So it's like an undyed looking color. A natural color. <laughs> uh, this one. Oh, this one's got a project started. <laughs> um, this one doesn't have a label, but it looks like the Aunt Lydia. But it's real pretty. 
uh, multicolor. And is this the same thing? Let me look at this. Yeah, this is the same thing. So it's Aunt Lydia's Classic Tin. Um, Monet Multi. You know, it looks like the Monet colorway from Red Heart too. So there's two of those. Here's another one of those pink ones. There's two of those pink ones. And this one is Aunt Lydia's Classic Tin. This one is called Pastel. So it's similar to the Monet, but it's uh, got pink in it. And there's this really pretty multi pink one. I like that a lot. And then there's Aunt Lydia's Classic Tin Mint Green. Hello. <laughs> and then Aunt Lydia's Classic Tin Light Peach. Real pretty. That looks like light peach from um, I Love a Shard. <laughs> and then there is another Copper Mist. So there's two of those. This Aunt Lydia's. And the last thread is this little green color. Right here. That's not one of those old looking ones. This one's called Daisy. The labels look old. Old timey. Alright, that is all the yarn. I promise. <laughs> Alright, there's still a few more things though. So there's, she sent this little scrap of fabric that I can use to line bags. It's got little holly uh, berries on it. I can use that for bags um, this holiday season. And this is a larger piece. It feels like it might be a yard and it just it's Merry Christmas so it's pretty Christmas prints to go in my Christmas fabric which is right here she also said this shirt it's like a scrub top really cute it's got minions on it I thought Devin I don't care if it's a scrub top I'm still gonna wear it <laughs> or I could even make a bag out of it if I wanted to because I love the minions I love the despicable me movies and then she also sent a bag with things in it. I'm pretty sure that's everything. I don't think Jesse took anything out. Okay, so first, there's this little keychain that was on this. Uh, it's got like travel related things on it. Keychain. On this um, <laughs> little bag that you unfold and it's a hook case. It's got Velcro on it. See? Put your hooks in there or needles. And then there's a little pocket here to put notions in. So that's really cute. And it's got puppy dogs on it. I don't know if you've seen that good. Cute little doggies. And there's some hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer <laughs> which Jesse wanted really bad. And I did not give it to him because he uses it like all up in one setting. <laughs> and then there's this adorable little bag, little organza bag full of Christmas buttons and this one looks like a piece of cake <laughs> or pie i think there might be a couple of those down there but there's there's a bunch of cute little buttons of christmasy things in there a ton of them as you can see a ton of them those are super duper cute and i'll use those and there are some rows of ribbons i'll try to show them to you just a bunch of different ribbons which i do use ribbons a lot for things, different things. I like this one. It's got like rhinestones. <laughs> it's got, it's like rhinestone -y. It's really cool. Pretty ribbons. And then there's this little bag. It's got a bunch of little, um, like foam stickers and little wooden bead. That's a monkey. And there's this little star charm. There's some little Hello Kitty. Ah. Ah. Okay, I'm having a hard time holding it. <laughs> little Hello Kitty uh, buttons. There's a couple of these down in there. There's another one of those wooden ones. It's a flower. There's a little cute little sparkly heart. There's this bigger, like, this feels like it's clay, like a polymer clay Hello Kitty face. And this this really pretty thing, like a necklace charm. It's real pretty. It's pink. I 
know if you can tell if it's pink. <laughs> but it is. And there's some of these little uh, keychain things to make keychains with. You loop it on there. There's these things, which is some kind of clip. I haven't quite figured out what you make out of these, but it like holds things. <laughs> but I'm not sure exactly what those are called. And there's also some little, um, a few little ladybug buttons. And there's multiples of most of those things down in there. But I don't want to show you each one individually because I'd be kind of boring just showing the same thing over and over again. But all kinds of just little knick-knacky charm things. Okay. So that's, that's everything. That's all of it. That's a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh. Uh, my, I had to ship it to my mom's house because uh, you can't get packages from UPS at a P.O. box unless it's UPS Choice, which I don't even know what the difference is. <laughs> but, um, so she needed a physical address. So I gave her my mom's because my apartment address is a little shady. Uh, we've had stuff stolen from our stoop. Um, and so they brought it to me after church, uh, well, yesterday, Wednesday, and, um, they set it outside the door and then, like, knocked and left and was leaving because, uh, they didn't want Jesse to want to go home with him because he just literally came home from their house and he would spend the rest of his life there if I let him. And when I opened the door, this big old box was sitting there and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> and I had to pick it up and bring it in the house and I was just shocked at how big it was and then when I opened it, I was shocked at how much stuff was in there, um. It always surprises me when people just are so giving, you know, and uh, it's just awesome. I can't wait to rip into all this and use it. I have to find somewhere to put it. I just, I don't know if you noticed, but I just organized my yarn and I had to put some yarn Sorry, over here on my fabric shelf. Right here's my Dollar Tree yarn <laughs> because I ran out of yarn on my yarn or ran out of room on my yarn shelf and now I got all this I got hit somewhere Devin said we're gonna have to go buy a new shelf <laughs> and I was like okay probably <laughs> but uh I'm so thankful Chris thank you so much you definitely made my day when I opened it and uh, I'm gonna count it as a birthday gift I don't know I don't know if it was meant as a birthday gift because it was just you going through your stuff and finding stuff that you thought I would like and you were right because I love it all <laughs> and I can't wait to um start making dainty things and I can't wait to use some of this cool yarn to make amigurumis with and those cakes I can't wait to rip into those cakes because I love using cake yarns because it's so easy to just you know sit there and whip up a blanket or whatever a uh, shawl or whatever you know or even amigurumis that's why I got these cakes to make amigurumis with but um I just love it all I love it all and I'll, I'll definitely use the fabric and I'll use all the little buttons and that little hook case I'll probably put because I have a ton of hooks. I showed them recently. <laughs> I'll put some of my hooks in there. And that can be like the one that I grab when I'm leaving the house with a project. And yeah, I'll use it all. <laughs> and I'll use these pattern books. Definitely the Christmas one. Because I'm already in the Halloween mood. So right after I make some Halloween things, I'm going to be making some Christmas things. But now my task is to figure out where to put all this stuff. <laughs> like, I have a place to put the books and the card. But the rest of it, I'm going to have to go get a shelf. <laughs> But I appreciate it so much, Chris. You made me so happy when I opened it and ripped into it. And I'm glad that you um, appreciate uh, my bags and that you enjoy them and keep buying them. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I just, I'm so thankful for all of my friends that I've made over the last four, almost five years of doing YouTube. Right? Yeah, because I did it in 2017. Four years? I can't count. <laughs> It'll be four years this June, I think. Around Father's Day is when I started. <laughs> Anyways, four or five years, whatever. I feel like we, I've known you guys for like ever. And I appreciate all your support and all of your love. And, you know, you never have to send me anything. But obviously, it's fun to get packages. And this is a big old box. It's a good box, too. I'll reuse it. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here. It's going to take me a minute to edit this because I had to hop up and help Jesse. So I have to cut that part out. <laughs> but it's long. If you stuck with me this long, <laughs> you're loyal. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here and try to figure out what to do with all this. I'm going to have to go to get a shelf. That's okay, though. <laughs> but if this doesn't fill the shelf up and I'll have space, then I'll have to fill that space, right? Like, that's the logic, right? <laughs> you have to buy more yarn. <laughs> I don't know what I need anymore, but that's okay. Whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Bye, guys.